Turning now to Ukraine, where an official there says Russia's Wagner Group has had to use more of its professional recruits to replace its dwindling supply of enlisted prisoners fighting in the besieged Ukrainian city of Bakhmut. The mercenary group led by a Putin ally enlists convicts to join its ranks. As for the battle for Bakhmut, one Ukrainian spokesperson said the city is the Wagner Group's last stand. The New York Times reporting, quote, as the fight for Bakhmut appears to be entering a decisive phase, both sides are trying to justify their staggering losses in a minor city of limited strategic value by presenting them as benefiting their cause. Each makes essentially the same claim that the fighting there is worth the horrific cost because it's wearing down the enemy. On the sidelines of a summit in Stockholm today, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg told reporters Bakhmut may, quote, fall in the coming days. Joining us now, the former president of Ukraine, Petro Poroshenko. Mr. President, thank you for being with us this morning. Is that your assessment as well, that Bakhmut may fall in the coming days? And if so, which way will it fall? We hear the news from, especially from Russian, during the last six months that Bakhmut can fall. I just want to remind you that the fight for Bakhmut is already uh, doing for more than nine months. And I know exactly what's going on there because some of my fellow party members are there and I have a telephone communication. This is the hell. This is extremely difficult. But Ukrainian troops still now in Bakhmut. And no matter about the future, Bakhmut would be a symbol of Ukrainian courage, of Ukrainian courage, of Ukrainian resilience, of Ukrainian sacrifice, another symbol together with the fighting for Kiev, fighting for Kharkiv region, fighting for Kherson, Chernigov, and many, many others. And uh, why Bakhmut is so important? Because we keeping all the Russian troops demonstrating to the world that this is the maximum of uh, Russia to demonstrate the offensive operation. And we are waiting. We are waiting for the combat armed vehicle. We are waiting for the air defense. We are waiting for artillery. Most important, we are waiting for ammunition, uh, for red electronic warfare system, jet fighter to provide our offensive operation against Russia. And with that situation, I really admired by Ukrainian soldiers who demonstrate, uh, who is a real hero, uh, demonstrating these type of things in Bakhmut. Me personally, during the last year, I was more than 12 times in Bakhmut. Uh, la last time it was uh, 10 days ago. And I want to say that uh, Bakhmut is completely ruined. And this is the demonstration that Russia provided a barbarian war. And still we have not more than three, three and a half thousands there. And this is the absolutely uh, great demonstration that Ukraine need more weapons. Yeah. Please do not keep it. Truly chilling images there from Bakhmut, Mr. President. I wanted to ask you about reports here from yesterday that the New York Times reports that U.S. officials are confident that a pro-Ukrainian group may have been behind the sabotage of the Nord Stream pipelines in the fall, uh, suggesting that President Zelensky's government was not involved, but it was a group with you know, pro-Ukrainian uh, ties. And we wanted to get your reaction to that report. What do you make of it? First of all, I want to, everybody should understand the Nord Stream 2 is a symbol of Russian aggression. They have zero importance for their <coughs> energy uh, security, for the economy. This is the classical example how to weaponize Russian energy policy. That was directly uh, against Ukraine. And uh, with that situation, if only we know who is behind the sabotage of the Nord Stream, maybe we would thank them uh, because uh, serve Russia right after all these disastrous crimes they make on the Ukrainian territory. Mm, unfortunately, I cannot comment it, uh, but uh, this is the approach of all Ukrainians. Mr. President, in Bakhmut, which is hell on mm. earth right now, the Ukrainians are faced with human wave assaults from the Wagner Group. Both sides, 
the Wagner Group and the Ukrainian army is taking massive casualties. My question to you is, given the thin line of defense or offense in the case of the Ukrainian army, do you worry mm -hmm. about other areas near Bakhmut being left untended completely to defend or fight the Russians in other areas? Look, everybody should understand that now uh, Bakhmut is the most concentrated point uh, with the, uh, on the all thousands kilometers front line of Ukraine, uh, where we're defending our soil. And uh, the, all of us should understand that the uh, Wagner group uh, criminals is uh, military criminals and they have nothing to do we protect in our own land we have a very high motivation ukrainian soldiers who is a hero fighting for their soil fighting for their family for their children for their uh, parents and many many others and with that situation we have uh, figures that uh, uh, russia pay five seven times more than Ukrainian. But unfortunately, I cannot say it like that because uh, only during the last months I lost in Bakhmut area at least seven of my very close friends. And this is the just a demonstration the price Ukraine pay for this disastrous aggression. And this is another argument. We are here protecting not only Ukraine. We are here protecting the whole free and democratic world. And not Article 5 of NATO, but the blue and yellow umbrella of Ukrainian armed forces providing the security, providing the freedom, providing the democracy. I really keep my fingers crossed that we will have a success in uh, offensive operation. We hope that that will start at the end of March, beginning of April, and Russia, now it's confirmed that Russia have no forces for the offensive operation, which they were so well uh, announced that at the end of the winter, beginning of the spring, that would be Russian offensive operation. No chance. Former Ukrainian President mm -hmm. Petro Poroshenko joining us this morning from Kyiv. Mr. President, we always appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.